So, in the studio, um, we have an in-ear system, and when we gig out, we have an in-ear system. And just to make things easy, because uh, we play a lot of really small clubs, uh, well, not necessarily the kick, but a lot of times people aren't micing up everything. So, just trying to get ourselves in a position with uh, our own micing system, just for our in-ears in particular. So, I got a little Gibraltar clip for the inside. And then I was dealing with the cable, kind of brainstorming what to do there, and uh, ended up getting this permanent XLR kit by uh, Kelly Shu. Uh, so we're gonna install that guy and have some fun for that, and be ready for anywhere and everywhere without uh, you know messing with front of house and everything. Or let's say we're playing live, and front of house wants to use our you know kick mic or whatever other mic I got going on on the drum kit. They're more than welcome to grab it from our in ear system. All right. I'm working with a 20 inch kick. So just an idea of how far you can get across and get yourself to your mic. So if I were to mic, uh, put it, let's say somewhere down here, should be able to reach your mic everywhere. Of course, up here would be pretty easy. So I suppose about 16 inches. For our application, I'm gonna, gonna elect to go in on this side over here uh, with the idea of kind of staying out of the way of the port and everything uh, for front of house if they want a mic and use their own mics, etc. So the idea of being able to plug in probably just behind the, the leg right here, kind of out of the way. And then when I fold up this leg, it'll protect this socket maybe a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then from, so, you know, approximately this side shouldn't have a problem getting anywhere I put the mic over time. Just a quick shot of Gibraltar's internal mic clip. Does fasten directly to the shell. From what I hear, be careful with that. You might get vibration. Uh, you might even look into Kelly Shoe's uh, suspended mount. But uh, yeah, haven't had the privilege of trying a bunch out. This is my first internal mic clip. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it behind this. So when this leg is folded up, it's protecting the jack a little bit, the XLR. Okay. Gonna sand up those those edges there and it should be pretty good. Cool, I think we survived major blowout. Gotta make sure you go real slow, but you can see I just had a tiny bit of blowout, which is almost nothing in my opinion.
Yeah, cool. So here's the line uh, to our in-ear system. So now I just have this in between that. Yeah, now I'll um, get the head back on and the idea is I can work through the port um, and unplug and take the mic out if I need to when everyone's traveling and whatnot. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to do some experimenting with uh, mic placement and go from there. Cool, thanks.